Hereditary director Ari Aster's cult following wasn't strong enough to brainwash people into theaters for his Midsummer, which managed only $10. Nine him over the holiday weekend. Cult is the appropriate word here as I'm not quite sure A24 expected more from their overly long arthouse horror film that had the displeasure of opening against Marvel's Spider-Man, Far From Home and going up against Toy Story in its third week of release, not to mention both Child's Play and Annabelle Comes Home, which all ended up stealing the market from one another. Horror can work in the summer, but not when there's clutter spreading the money across several releases. Midsummers, read our review. Budget is reported at under $10 million, which helps soften the blow if the film doesn't manage a strong international release. With that said, it won't take much for this film to trickle into the profit zone and I'm positive A24 isn't sweating it. Hereditary opened to insane, over-the-top hype and only managed $13.5 m in its opening weekend. The $10 million here doesn't come as a surprise to this writer, especially when Annabelle Comes Home only conjured up $20 million in its opening. Anyone writing Midsummer's numbers off as a flop doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Speaking of Annabelle Comes Home, read our review, the third film in the Conjuring spin-off franchise managed another $9.75 75 in its second week of release. It currently sits at $50 million here in the States with a global total of $134 million. Ironically, the film is struggling to muster up half of that of Annabelle, creation. Even so, the franchise is hugely profitable and we should expect several more Conjuring films over the years. As for Chucky and Ryan's Child's Play, Review, Reboot, the film was slashed by 66% and added a measly $1. For M as it works its way out of theaters. With $26. 8 M here in the States and still no international numbers to account for, it's becoming debatable as to if Ryan moves forward on a sequel. In fact, the numbers are dwindling quicker than expected and may fall short of the $30.40 M domestic projection. With Orion rarely reporting international numbers, I can only assume they pre-sold territories for the release. These unreported numbers will dictate how much of a hit or miss a new take actually was. Next up is Paramount Pictures Crawl. Their Pet Cemetery remake was a huge hit, can the Sam Raimi-produced-slash-Alex Asia-directed thriller take a bite out of the box office next weekend?